Let me show you how to blow up your upper chest. All right, guys, here we are. Elite, my favorite place, training run up. And man, we're at their chest today. It's sunny, it's beautiful. The sun is out and I'm feeling good. So scale weight continues to climb. Pounders in the gym are honestly higher than they've ever been in my entire life. And I'm just enjoying this all season. So follow along. I'll take you through what I'm gonna do for chest. All right, exercise one. Incline hammer strength press. Big shocker, right? But the last time you saw me do this in this video, I only went up to four plates. Today, four and a quarter, and guess what? 10 reps. <laughs> so we'll keep building that. Once I hit 12 to 15, then we'll take it to five plates. I know what you're saying, out of 10. I just don't believe in that shit. I had a buddy teach me years ago, plates and quarters. So that's what we do. And then I did a back off set with three plates where I'm really just trying to really focus on opening my pecs up at the bottom, stretching them out and getting a full contraction. And with that contraction, I went all up around my collarbone. Like if you can't feel that meat by your collarbone, guys, like you have to adjust the seat. You have to adjust the weight you're using because at the end of the day, that piece, meaning the hammer straight incline, will pack on muscle on that, those upper chest fibers. And that's what we're after on that piece specifically. Go. Go. Exercise two in rotation is gonna be a high cable crossover. Now, what I found, guys, when I was dealing with this shoulder injury is if I hit a machine press immediately followed by a cable fly, it really helped my shoulder feel great. But at the, the secondary principle I learned there is my pecs got super pumped and I began to really like this setup and structure. So now that my shoulder's 100% healed, I'm gonna do a machine press, I'm gonna do a cable fly, and then I'm gonna go do a heavy free weight exercise, which today is gonna be an incline barbell. But I hit three sets here. These are, this is more volume based. I try to do a set of 15, a set of 12, and a set of 10, and just jump 20 to 30 pounds each set there. And I'm really just trying to squeeze my pecs, activate them, open them up, because that's gonna help me prepare and be fully pumped by the time we get into the, what I would consider the meat and potatoes of the workout. All right, third up, incline barbell press. And as you guys know, one of my absolute favorite exercises. I just pyramid it up, starting a plate, doing plate quarter jumps. All the way to three plates today. And I told Chaz, like, if I get six or less, I'm gonna do a back off. If I get six or more, or really technically seven or more, um, I didn't need another one. So as you saw, I didn't even do another one. <laughs> so that flew up pretty well today. And considering it's third in rotation, I'm thrilled with that. So especially here at Elite where, I don't care if anybody says, these metal plates weigh more than that rubber shit that I use at other gyms. So if you have metal plates and you go to another gym, you'll see how, you're like, man, that rubber shit's light. So. Three plates there, very happy with that set. And now we're on to a tri-set to get a huge freaking pump. All right, and tri-set to finish. So if you look here, I'm doing a slider incline. So you figure with the hammer train incline, I'm straight up and down. With this incline barbell here, it's a pretty steep angle. And I've lowered this on the incline with the dumbbells. So I'm kind of working all those different ranges of motion. So I'm still after those upper pec fibers, but at the same time, I'm working a slight different angle. So if you're a bodybuilder out there, like to me, like that's what's majorly important. If you're gonna do three incline movements like I did today, I don't want them to all be the exact same angle. So I'm starting with the hex press that John Mendes taught us all, where you ram the dumbbells together as far as you can. So not only are you creating force east and west, you're creating force north and south when you're pressing up. So great exercise to start here, I'm trying to get 10 to 12 reps, immediately going to the pec deck, hitting another 10 to 12 reps, and then finally finish up with a stretch push up to stretch everything out. Because those two exercises are great at contraction for me. And then I'm gonna stretch them out with those stretch push ups. My goal is to get at least eight <laughs> and not eat shit, knock my front teeth out. So by that point, being third in rotation within that, within that tricep, my chest is done. So that stretch actually feels really good. So two rounds of this. All right, there you have guys, upper chest smashed. I mean, <laughs> if you struggle with meat and the top portion of your chest, do this workout, I'm telling you. Like, and especially for guys who are really broad, like if you have really wide shoulders, you have to do a great job of filling all of this muscle mass in here. So even into your front delt. So when you press a lot of incline, they also get some front delt in there, guys. So don't be scared to do a lot of incline to really thicken up from sternum to shoulder. As you all know, that is beyond important for bodybuilding. Or if you just wanna look big as fuck in a t-shirt, <laughs> what a great way to do it. So incline inspired chest day bunch of highlights here so if you look i've never hit four and a quarter for 10 reps on this hammer strength piece so strength up there then immediately went to a pump 
and then got eight reps on my own with the incline barbell where normally last all season, I was hitting eight to nine, sometimes 10 or 11, doing it first or, or not first, but second in rotation. So I move it back a hole and I'm almost to where I was last all season. So while I'm pressing things heavier before that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, like that's how I track progress doing mountain dog training. Like you have to watch your weights go up. So no matter where they are in the course of the program, as long as I'm getting more reps or the weights are the same, but moving later in the workout, that's progression guys. So if you like this video guys, like, share and subscribe. And until next time, Christmas TV.